Hello and welcome to Cottage Time. Today's video is about homemaking routines. I hope you'll enjoy this little video as I go about homemaking in my cottage. I'm starting in the kitchen putting away a dry goods grocery haul. I like to put as many things as possible in containers and canisters. I have a very flexible homemaking routine since I'm at home most of the time. I usually start in the kitchen, so usually in the kitchen I'm doing dishes, but mostly I start in an area that needs it the most. I always start dinner around 10.30, and that way we can eat by 11.30 or 12. I have never been a person that likes to follow schedules. For some reason, schedules make me stressed. I think that's one of the areas where the beauty of homemaking comes in because it's not a one-size-fits-all. It's more about learning the flow of your home, what works, what doesn't. Learning to care for the home is an art form in itself. We learn the necessities of each room and how our family uses the space. Because really homemaking is creating a haven for your family to do life. I'm working on a new recipe. I've been wanting a gluten-free muffin. I try to avoid the pre-made gluten-free flour mixtures because the main ingredient is usually brown rice flour and I have some hesitations about using it. So I just buy individual flours and play around with the mixture as I've been learning which flour mixtures go well together for certain recipes. And anyway, that's just the way I cook. I kind of experiment when I cook, when I'm baking anything. I am by no means the perfect homemaker, but I dare say that most of us are better homemakers than when we started. My encouragement to any homemaker at any stage is to just enjoy the journey and focus on serving your family, ultimately glorifying God in whatever your hand finds to do. What I tried to do in this muffin recipe was to get it to a pancake consistency with a light sweetness. I don't like really sweet things. So just a little bit of sweet is all I'm looking for. I use the same flowers that I do in pancakes and it usually turns out good. So I used buckwheat, almond flour, and some arrowroot. They turned out good, but the recipe needs a little tweaking before I share it with you all. The muffin pan I'm using is just an aluminum one that I got at a thrift store with some paper cupcake liners. And the cupcake liners stuck onto the muffins. So I'm kind of thinking I might need to get maybe a silicone muffin pan. If you have one, please let me know your thoughts on using those. I heard someone say that if you see something that needs done, do it then because if you put it off, you'll forget it. 
I have some plants in my kitchen window that have needed potting up for weeks and I keep putting it off and today later I'm going to repot those plants and see if I can make the kitchen window look more cozy. I'm going to wash up the dishes and tackle this kitchen window. You can see these sad looking plants in the teacup. I am more of a maximalist than a minimalist, but lately I am in a phase where I prefer a little less. I'm still not a minimalist, but I am somewhere I guess in between now. How would you rate yourself? Are you a minimalist or maximalist or in between? I picked these plants specifically because they are air purifying plants. I also love how they look kind of whimsical. I love to garden, but plants on the inside have, well, some of them have been a challenge for me. Ivy is a no go for me. I have lost two of those. I'm hoping these will do well. They've been in the kitchen window and like I said for a while. So hopefully they will be okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely homemaking week. I'll talk to you soon.